Do you know when to use the simple present and the present progressive verb tenses in English? Are you sure you know the difference? Let's compare these two common verb tenses and then you can test yourself at the end of this video. Ellie. To really compare the simple present and present progressive, we'll look at how we form these tenses, the function of each tense, and the time markers we use in sentences. Then we'll see some examples of both tenses in affirmative sentences, negative sentences, and questions. Let's start with the form for each verb tense. How do we conjugate the simple present and the present progressive? In the simple present tense, we use the base form of the verb, but we need to add the S ending when the subject is he, she, it, or a singular noun in affirmative sentences only. In negative sentences and questions, we use the auxiliary verb do, which becomes does when the subject is he, she, or it. The main verb stays in the base form. The present progressive tense is formed with an auxiliary verb and a main verb in affirmative sentences, negative sentences, and questions. The auxiliary verb is be and it changes to am, are, or is depending on the subject. The main verb always takes an ing ending. Now let's talk about the function of these tenses. In which situations do we use the simple present or the present progressive? We use the simple present tense for repeated actions. These actions happen over and over, such as every day or once a week. We use the present progressive for one long continuing action that's happening right now. Finally, let's talk about time markers. Do you know all the different time markers that go with the simple present and the present progressive? Time markers are one or more words that show the time when an action takes place. They're really important in helping you determine whether you should use the simple present or the present progressive. Simple present time markers that are common in an English sentence include adverbs of frequency, such as always, often, usually, sometimes, almost never, etc. Expressions of time, such as every morning, after dinner, in the evening, on weekends, etc. And numerical forms, such as once a week, twice a month, three times a year, etc. Present progressive time markers include words and phrases that all mean now, such as right now, these days, nowadays, at the moment, and currently. Now let's look at some examples of these tenses. Here are some examples of the simple present and the present progressive in affirmative sentences, negative sentences, and questions. Let's start with affirmative sentences. She works out four days a week. The time marker is four days a week which is a repeated action. So we need the simple present verb works out. Did you notice the S ending? We need it when the subject is she. They are taking a test right now. With the time marker right now, we need the present progressive verb tense since it's a continuing action. The subject they means the be verb becomes are and the verb take gets an ing ending. Moving on to negative sentences. She doesn't watch TV on weeknights. To form a negative simple present sentence in English, we need the auxiliary verb do or does and the adverb not. Since the subject is she, we need doesn't or does not with the main verb watch. My cat isn't feeling well at the moment. The time marker at the moment 
means we need a present progressive verb. When the subject is my cat, the negative form of be becomes isn't or is not. The ing form of feel is feeling. Now let's look at some questions. Do you always take the bus to school? Just like with negative sentences, we need the auxiliary verb do or does to form a question in the simple present. Since the subject is you, use do with the main verb take. Hi, what are you doing right now? In the present progressive tense, the auxiliary verb be has to start the question. It becomes are when the subject is you and the subject is followed by doing an ing verb. Okay, are you ready for some practice? Say or write a simple present or present progressive verb in each of the following sentences. Don't forget to look for the time markers. Look at the verb in parentheses. Which verb tense do you need? The simple present or the present progressive? That's right. He almost never eats breakfast. The time marker is almost never. And we use the simple present tense with adverbs of frequency. Did you remember to use the S ending because the subject is he? Let's try another one. The answer is, are you currently reading any good books? The time marker currently indicates a continuing action. So we need a present progressive verb. We need to start a question with an auxiliary verb. In this case, are. Try this one next. You got it. She is studying French these days. We need to use the present progressive is studying when the time marker is these days. Last one. Here's the answer. They don't leave work until 6 p.m. every night. The time marker every indicates a repeated action, so we need to use the simple present tense. For a negative sentence, we need to use the auxiliary verb do and the adverb not to form don't or do not. Great work! Now you know the difference between the simple present and present progressive tenses. See you next time and happy studying! Ellie.